Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to RimWorld where we are doing our best to get as much crafting underway. I can hear some surgery going on on Bear right now to install that new leg, which is fantastic. And I think let's get even more crafting. Let's get even more crafting happening. And maybe we should consolidate a couple of the jobs on these. So this is kind of what we want here. Um, did we get... Yeah, we did. Okay, great. Um, let's let's go ahead and get this duplicated. Um, once the the additional bionic leg, and maybe we just do one bionic eye because they do take quite some time to make happen. Uh, let's get rid of all of these things here and not worry about it too much at all. Uh, even though I just said that we need to do some quests and do some, you know, that sort of malarkey, but it's okay. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, let's duplicate uh, this one and uh, link that to there. And that way we can have three people doing heavy crafting. Uh, so at the moment, True's just making a component of some description, uh, probably an advanced component because we have an absolute buttload um, of regular components. So there's not any uh, regular components that need doing. Clav is gonna go ahead and do uh, this uh, bionic leg, uh, the second bionic leg for Bear. And uh, Sugar, who currently does have Inspired Trail. Okay, Inspired Trade doesn't help. Shoot Frenzy doesn't help. I was hoping that that was gonna be um, inspired uh, like go frenzy or work frenzy sort of thing, you know, but mm, no such luck. Um, how are we doing with recycling all of this tainted apparel? It doesn't look like we're doing very well at all. Oh dear, a raid. They are attacking immediately. Okay. Uh, that's quite a few people there. How many? Uh, 25. And then down here, uh, there are another 12. Um, so that is a relatively large amount of people. Um, let's select everyone up. And I know that our two new people, uh, Kane and Truge, uh, do not have defensive positions. So, Truge, you go there, and then Kane, you go mm, sort of there, I guess. Um, and we will then set, as soon as you arrive in the correct location, your new um, defensive positions. A couple of people aren't fully healed, but that should be okay. Um, so, Truge, save. And Kane, where are you at, my friend? Working your way up, no worries. Uh, let's not let the speed get away from us here. Uh, as soon as you arrive, we're going to set that as your position as well. Um, Svenning, where do you think you're going, my friend? Um, that's that's not the correct way. Uh, don't you dare. Um, Kane, save this as your defensive position as well. Thank you very much. And what's happening, Svenning? Igniting heater. Ah. Rice. That is a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. Uh, is there anything else in there that they can get access to? There's some doors. We're gonna have to go and deal with them in a moment, but let's see what we can do about taking out this mob up here first. Um, headshots all over the friggin' shop. What are you? Are you a golem answer? Uh, you are a golem answer. Um, right, bear. I need a disabling shot on this golem answer, if you please. Uh, uh-huh. All right, never mind. Never mind. Our people are just way too friggin' le lethal at the moment absolutely devastating and they do way 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 too much damage okay these guys are leaving the, the crop fields which is fantastic um and we'll be able to go ahead and fix that up at some point green alpaca what are you uh you're submissive and you've got some shooting skills so you might be worthwhile capturing if you actually manage to survive um what's uh, just about to happen which is your friends running into the kill box and you're going to get caught in the crossfire so you know let's see how you fare edmondson dead. Uh, here comes Grey Whale, and the rest of these guys are coming in the correct direction, but most of them are probably going to bugger off as soon as we kill probably two more of these, I would imagine. Grey Whale. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. And dead. And, like, we have, we're doing pretty well now, friends. We're doing pretty well. Jaguar Slayer. Uh, dead. Okay. Are you anything special? Undergrounder. Artistic. Shooting. Not too bad. Not too bad. Should we recruit them? I don't think we should. Because here's what is going to happen, my friends. Um, I am going to order up the uh, finishing off of all of these people. Um, I'm also going to order up the allow selection of... Oops. 
uh, let's allow everything in this zone with the exception of Mr. West who's trapped in the wall. And we can haul all of that stuff in and get rid of it. Now we're not gonna do any stripping of people in this one so that's totally fine. And then ideally, I would like to get this shit rebuilt because letting that hay grass not be Yes, not having that hay grass is making me feel, oh dear, very upset. Although this is 86% grown and hopefully will be harvested momentarily. But it has created, unless there's some in here, there is not. It has created a bit of a problem for our duckies. I mean, this stuff was 50-ish percent grown. Um... And we don't have a light in there at the moment. Okay, so that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Sugar's back in action and is ready to go and do some work. Um, I feel like, do we have any... Let's check our block count down here. Do we have any blocks? We do have granite and we do have uh, limestone, but no slate. Okay, how are we looking for slate blocks? Zero of 100. How are we looking for slate blocks in here? None. Are these granite? Okay, let's select up over here. There are some slate chunks, so let's just, um, thank you, select similar, and we'll just grab this many and haul urgently so that we can get some slate cuts, slate chunks cut into blocks um, and get them churned out and plonked down because this uh, probably has an ingredient radius of 43, yes. Um, and so it's only gonna include this zone here, so we have gotta bring some down. Doing that as urgent, totally not super duper necessary but I don't want to go ahead and change this out for granite and have patchwork walls I just want a couple of stone blocks um, slate blocks uh, and then we can get in and get that done um, Bryce how are we looking elsewise um, any of that armor get finished uh, not by the looks of it um, an exotic goods trader haha -ha. this might just be the trick uh, let's see what you exotically have to trade, Mr. Goods Trader. Um, you have, let's see, an Orb of the Eternal. That's what we're looking for. Uh, let's get two of those because I'm pretty sure that two people uh, have a brain scar. Um, do you have anything else cool? No, a Resurrector Serum would be nice. Um, would you like to buy any of my stuff to take the sting out of this purchase? Maybe some smoke leaf joints. Uh, would you also like to buy some... Um, let's see, Magicite, no, thank you. Um, I could probably get away with selling that prosthetic leg, absolutely. And I'm not going to sell any gold because we worked way too hard to get that gold. Um, okay, so Gizo, let's find you. And would you like to come and use the Orb of the Eternal? Um, and let's find out what that does for you. Because, hang on, let's read the flavor text first. Um... Heal wounds, restore limbs, and cure diseases. The healing energy will target and heal the worst single condition. So what conditions do you have, Gizzo? Um, if this heals his ear instead of his brain, I'm going to be very upset. It is a high possibility that that's going to be the case, but let's find out. He may have to use both of them, but let's, let's just see how we do. And <gasps> no more brain scar. Oh, baby. Gizzo, you're back. Oh, okay. All right. Fantastic. Who else had it? Um, was it Evo? Um, left leg? No. Was it Sugar? Brain. Stab scar, thrombo, itchy. So consciousness is at 80%. Uh, let's go ahead and use this for you, um, Sugar. Oh, man. This is fantastic. Bam. Oh, look at this. Oh, Gizzo. Look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Holy shit. He's booking. He's booking. We've finally got not only a super serum level, a super soldier serum person level three, uh, but yeah, man. Holy crap. This is fantastic. 120% moving. Manipulation at 115. 125% sight. 120. Man, this is spectacular. Just spectacular. We could amp him up even more by giving him bionic replacements for limbs. Um, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Holy crap. Are we making Robocop? I mean, I I'd be down for that. Would you be down for that? That could be fun. Um, let's leave it. Let's leave it. That's, that's probably enough. That's probably enough. Hey, Truge, could you do me um, a favor? And, I mean, you aren't looking good at the moment. Clav, maybe you can do it for me because you're looking pretty happy right now. Um, killed someone times four. Yeah, Bloodlust is pretty rad. Um, okay, let's get a bunch of this shit recycled uh, because we don't need... I mean, what is this? Uh, oop, okay, never mind. Um, 
yeah, we don't need all of this shitty, like, tainted clothing floating about. Let's just get it all recycled down, get rid of it. Uh, as soon as I see Clav start to dip, like, I mean, essentially, this is free work for 2.8 days. 2.8 days, he's going to be at plus 33. Holy shit balls. That's wicked. Absolutely spectacular. But no, I'm going to force work him all of this day. Um, so we can get a bunch of this shit taken care of. He's got some positive vibes and soothing breezes going on. Um, he's been rebuffed by a bowler, which is not great. He is starting to get hungry. Um, but we'll just keep him going for a little bit longer until his rest starts to dip as well. And then we can send him to go and get a feed and go to bed. Um, and it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Him, her, for them. We'll send them to go and do some things. Um... 13% hunger, you're okay. You're all right. Ravenously hungry, off you go. That'll that'll be the trigger point. There's the second leg that we need for Bear. So Bear, if you'd like to get a new uh, bionic leg on your right leg installed, thank you kindly. Um, that would be fantastic. And then all we need now is a bionic eye um, and we can patch up her eye. And that's about it. That's it, y'all. That's all we really, really need. Is that it there? Unfinished bionic eye, fantastic, okay. So, with that said, let's get ourselves prepared. Sugar, lovely work, love your work. Uh, what's in here? So we can clear off those. Let's, um, yeah, let's clear off those. We'll wait for this bionic eye to go and then we can clear that off as well. Um, and then we'll just let this sort of run for a little bit. We'll get through the final, the final construction that we need. I'd love to have Truge and Eric in marine armor just to be on the safe side um you know just just to know for sure that they are fully fully protected a visitor is passing by it's katie snow snow mew hello uh welcome come into our base uh what are you katie uh you appear to be a bright mage by the looks of it uh you certainly are um where are you from corian compact well i won't kidnap you um i'll just i'll just leave you be uh, if you'd like to come and steal some of these weapons, feel free. Uh, feel free. We'd have no use for them. Um, I could... You know what? What would happen... What would happen if I forbid all of this? Because my people don't go through there, right? The only time my people go in this direction is when they need to fight. Hmm. Let's try a little experiment. Let's forbid all of this. Because I don't, I couldn't be bothered hauling all this shit in and cremating all of these people. There's Starflight Basics, fantastic. Uh, launching the ship, yes, we'll get to that. We're a long ways away from being able to launch the ship. So here's what I'm thinking. If I forbid those and they all start to rot, um, then our people shouldn't technically go near them. Um, and when enemies do come near them, well, they're going to see them and be freaked out and be like, oh my God, look at all these dead people. It's so terrifying. And yeah... Would that be good? That could be good. Drilling a deep drill? I don't think so, Clav. Come and do some more uh, tailoring deconstruction here. Do I even do I even care about doing this, or should I just be burning these clothes? I think if we just do this for a little while, it'd be fine. Now, speaking of drilling, uh, we've got 471 uh, plasteel and 1104 in the gold department, so that's fine. Let's toggle this one off. Um, is the steel drill... Where were the steel drills? Uh, well, there's still this one up here, and that's still toggled off. How are we doing for steel? 160. We actually do need... In fact, let me toggle this on for a second. Um, let's see if there's been one discovered closer. Uh, so steel, silver. Very interesting. And this is steel here as well. Um, let's have a look at this guy. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Uh, I'm looking at that one. Okay, that is deep rock there. Is it deep rock? I don't think it is, y'all. That's deep rock. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, daddy-o. Uh, okay, let's go a little bit like this. And then let's go a little bit like uh, this. Uh, yeah, that should do the trick. Except for that one. That's deep rock. We don't want that. This is probably deep rock as well, actually. Um, let's, as we're digging in here, let's see what we're up against. Um, because it'd be nice to have a drill that is much, much closer to the stockpile than all the way the shit up here. Because that's a long way to walk, 
And therefore, I mean, it's not bad. Like if you're just walking to get there, who cares? You know, it takes you a while, you get up there, you do your work for the day and then you come home again, right? Except you're hauling shit back and forth the whole time, which is going to take a lot of effort. So who can come and do this for me, Clav? Do you want to uh, not assign a constructing? Of course not. Um, let's see. Eric is asleep and Per is asleep. I'm just going to have to wait. We're just going to have to wait for someone to wake up and come and take care of this door, which probably doesn't need to be a door, honestly. It just needs to be a deconstruct. Um, and then we'll dig into this and see if we can do this without disturbing the... Oh, died from rotting. That is disappointing. Have we finished these walls? No, we fucking haven't. Uh, we're pretty close, though. We're pretty close. Slate wall building. Um, so we just need uh, just maybe a couple more, um, a couple more stone blocks. Uh, I've got 107. That's plenty. Okay, Lumpy. Now, what I'm going to do is hover about with the cancel button here. And so anytime that we see... Oh, stop that one. Anytime we see deep rock, we're going to get rid of it. Um, and we'll hopefully uncover enough of this that we can do some drilling without... Okay, don't do that one. And don't do that one. And... Don't do that one. Okay. Good. So, now that we've opened that up, let's grab ourselves a drill. Uh, let's get rid of the roof line here. Let's have a look at this. And shit. Nope. Okay. Never mind. That didn't work. What I was hoping... Uh, yeah, we might be able... If we do that... Uh, we might be able to touch a bit of it with a drill. Even though it's not going to be super duper effective. Um, it'll be at least close. So if I put it this way, oh, in fact, if I just put it there, that's totally fine, and then cancel that. And then if we look at the, the bloom underneath that, then yeah, that drill's gonna touch a number of blocks there, so that's totally fine. Giggles, turn that off for me, um, if you would be so kind. We don't need any more uh, reveal just at this point. Um, inspiration social activity bear, lovely jubbly. And it looks like Clav's now doing some recycling. So. How are we looking? Eric now has some armor. Fantastic. Eric, do me a favor. Uh, where are you? You're there. Would you be so kind as to take off that marine helmet and that marine armor? Um, that would be just dandy. Um, and then Billy, you need to come and wear this. Oh, the God, there's another one there. Um, okay, so Billy's now going to get this. And there should be a helmet somewhere. Eric, are you still wearing it? You are. I did tell you to take that off, but that's okay. Um, so let's just get you to do that. Great. And then, uh, Billy, would you like this helmet, please? That can be yours. And then who's going to get this final piece of armor? Now, Evo currently has some recon armor. Um, so let's force wear that on you. And then, Eric, you can have the recon armor that he... No, Eric. No, 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 no. No. Um, no on the guardian armor. We will actually forbid that and then hopefully destroy it. Yes. Okay, great. Eric... You can have this recon armor, mate. I mean, I would love to give you some proper armor, and we may do that at some point. But uh, right now, and that's it. Everyone's got armor. I'd love to give everyone a helmet, though. I think that would be very, very handy. Um, do we want to keep pushing for that, or do we want to... Let's put a door in here as well. And I think we also want a light that can go there. Fantastic. Fantastic. How dark is it in here? Dark. Very dark. Um, so Truj is doing some mining for us. This will start yielding This will start yielding some good stuff. And uh, then we can go ahead and turn that into more components. Because at the moment, yeah, we've been going on steel. We've been going on steel. But bringing it back from here, there you go, 47 steel. Bringing it back from here to here is going to shorten our timelines and shorten our construction uh, times greatly. Uh, what's this? A marine helmet? Great. What's this? A marine armor with 659 work remaining. Um, and a component. Okay, great. No Wakan Faris. Good. Now, hello, animal transport pod. It's Tango the Emu. Um, how are you doing, Tango? You are a wild creature uh, who has a permanent gunshot injury in its eye. Um, I am a merciful god. Uh, tend to Tango. And he can just wander about the map and that'll be fine. Uh, did we complete that bionic eye, by the way? Uh, Crypto Slip Casket has been completed. Fantastic. Uh, we have not completed that. So we do need, what is this? Another bionic eye. I'm pretty sure that I said I only wanted one. 
Um, and you've gone ahead and created a new... Where did that go? Okay, you've gone ahead and created a new one. This one's got three left. This one has 71. Uh, that one's now done. Great. And so that's going to go into Bear because Bear has a burn scar on her left eye. So we're going to add a bionic left eye. Did anyone else need a new eye? Um, burned by light. Oh, yes. Burned by light. Mm -hmm. And scar. You're okay. Left eye burn scar. Yes. Okay. Um, so we kind of do... You can go about your business, Giggles. Thank you. Um, we kind of do need to take care of a few bits and bobs here. Um, yeah, so probably two more bionic eyes on top of what we've just made would not be the worst. Would not be the worst. Okay. Um, but that, I think, can probably wait for a little while. What's going on here? No longer inspired social activity. Uh, rescued animal has joined. Uh, well, I didn't actually want that. I didn't actually rescue that animal. Um, but, you know, it's never a bad thing to have an emu about. The EDF can can rejoin, for those of you who remember the EDF. Um, gosh, that was a long time ago. The emu defense force. <laughs> that was good fun. Great fun. All right. I think it's as, we're as good as we're going to get. We're as good as we're going to get. Let's just wait for Bear to come back online and for her anesthetic to subside. You can do some combat training, actually, Bear, if you want. In fact, anyone who's pretty rad at combat, mentor magic, sure. Evo, you should be able to... No, you can't. Okay, Princess, uh, no, you can't yet either. Uh, Gizzo, how are you looking? You can combat train. Bear can combat train. Uh, Sail cannot yet. Uh, giggles, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, so let's have a look through everyone's skill trees. Um, and we're going to go into a little bit of that. Um, a little bit of, of that. Fantastic. Um, let's go with another point in open book for you. Evo, you can have a point in, I guess, repulsion. I think I think repulsion is going to be good. Um, light burst? Let's go with... Uh, let's go with... Let's go with focus and clarity and sunfire. We're going to go deep burn and solar powered. Great. Gizzo, might. Uh, now that you've got this, a uh, bullet storm sounds pretty rad. Another friggin' defoliator ship. Don't worry about it. Um, fitness and coordination. And then I'm guessing we should probably do... I think maybe we just keep leaning into this, yeah? Just get him able to do more and more damage. Uh, three points are ready here, so let's drop the stamina cost and add the adrenaline on that. And you can have a couple of points in here as well, as well as some fitness. Fantastic. And that's it for our special peeps. Um, wait on. Um, Kane and... Kane and, and Truge, you weren't... No, okay. Um, what's Rebel? Oh, players by our own rules. Okay, that's fine. So, defoliate ship. Um, I mean, it's pretty bad. But we can just kind of ignore that for the time being and go and take care of it when we need to. I mean, it's going to cause some problems for this stuff down here, but this stuff down here ain't doing too well to be, you know, to begin with. Um, Tango, I really, I really don't need an emu. I'm sorry, I can't really look after you, so I'm just going to get rid of you. I'm sorry. Um, some visitors are passing by. They have a few items to trade. No worries. No worries. We, we'll, we'll go and have a look. I mean, what do you got in your pockets? Uh, some fine meals. Some magicite. Uh, Reinforced barrels wouldn't be bad. Would not be bad. All right, well, let's buy that. Um, but before we do go ahead and buy that, Bear, how are you feeling? Your anesthetic is wearing off? No worries. Wearing off is enough. Let's do a little cheeky trade with this person. Uh, thank you, Eric. And you know what? Let's get those reinforced barrels, all four of them. Because, oh dear, well, maybe three of them? Or, hey, would you guys like to buy some of this... And, but no, actually, geez, uh, some helmets and steel guardian armor. Um, I mean, I could go ahead and sell, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to sell you my uh, Devil Strand Parkers and some mead. I have no use for that. And a prosthetic leg. I have no use for that. Uh, would you also like to buy anything else? Question mark. Some cerium. Um, how about you have like a hundred smoke leaf joints, maybe 200. Let's keep a handful for ourselves. Great, that's totally fine. Keep the change. 
and we'll get those barrels stored away so we can fire this thing to our heart's content uh, if we want to take down uh, this defoliator ship in a nice and efficient way. Now, having done all of that, it's time. Let's mount up friends, let's form a caravan and we are going to go down here. We're not gonna go all the way there because then it thinks that we're trying to give them a present. Uh, let's bring everyone with the exception of Truj uh, and who are we leaving behind? I think Truj and Eric for sure. They're not gonna be any use whatsoever. Um, let's leave Kane and Borg as well and then everyone else can come with us. Or should we leave Clav? No, because Clav is going to get real enjoyment out of murdering the shit out of people. So let's bring Clav along. Uh, we've got some meals. Uh, we don't have any pack of survival meals, though. So let's go ahead and change that up so that you take no normal meals. And uh, you know what? You know what? Take some, take some simple meals. That's totally fine. And then if you'd also like to take like 40 pack of survival meals, that gives us 2.9 days of food. Um, and keep that medicine on board as well. Absolutely. Let's go. Confirm. Let's do us an attack. Uh, it's a. It's been a long time coming, huh? It's been. It's been quite a few episodes since I said, "Hey, let's go and do this." But this is the nature of the beast. Please don't go that way. Please, please. It's okay. They're not set to attack, so they should just stroll straight past. And these guys are still asleep, so that's totally fine. They're going to group up down here, get ready, and then boom, leave the map. Bam, we are done. These guys now are just going to be chilling out here alone. I might even restrict them into the base only. Um, but the good news is there's not a lot of work to be done around here. Like they, they can they can tinker about and feed some ducks. 235 hay grass there, that's okay. How's this looking? 50% grown. Um, they might need to do some tending to ducks as well, but that's totally... Ah, they are coming through here. Uh, okay, all right. All right, they are coming through here, which means that me leaving that shit there does not work. I mean, I would have thought that, oh, there's no door there, huh? Yeah, I removed that door. Um, it's kind of irritating that they go through there instead of out and around here, which would technically be faster, but it is technically longer. Okay, so let's get rid of the, the, the dead, bo dead bodies in here, get them all cremated up, um, because it is making people upset. So it is absolutely understandable that we would want to not have our people upset. Now, you lot, uh, excuse me, you lot, uh, we're going to attack. We're not going to offer a gift. Um, <clears throat> I have seen that before. You can actually gift the entire caravan to them, um, which would uh, which would be hilarious. But no, we're not going to do that. This is this is our war party, and our war party, fully armed, uh, sail is having a shoot frenzy. That's going to come in handy very shortly. Sail, uh, you better goddamn believe it. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I should have saved Gizzo's points. Um, instead of spending them on the rifle specialty, I should have saved those points and used them um, to uh, pump into his um, portable mortar. So, attack has begun. Who's there? It's uh, Nails. Nails is Lumpy's sister. Very interesting. Okay, let's zoom in. Uh, so, we've got William. We've got Moss. Kelly. Shorty. Any names that we know? Howard. Rosales. Uh, Nat. No, I don't. I don't recognise anyone. Um, sleuth and chef. Uh, okay. Um, so my hunch is that our people um, are no longer here. They've all been. They've all been removed, and um, that's sad. That makes me sad. So let's get everyone over to here. Um, we're going to make sure. Okay, they are firing upon us with a mortar, which is a little bit scary. Um, but it should be okay. All we need to do is take that sucker out and we will be good to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them in and amongst these trees, I think, um, because that seems like the most logical thing to do uh, to get us some cover. So we're all going to just sort of spread throughout here like that. And then uh, Gizzo, where are you? Right, you need to get your mortar set up, my friends. Um, you can fire off a couple of shots with that. Oh my giddy aunt Bola just took a straight up headshot. Uh, let's get you back there. How are you doing? Uh, you've lost your nose. That is a bit of a bit of a problem. Gizzo, did you did you get your mortar up and running? Uh, I can't see it. Oh no, you did. Okay, great. There goes that turret. That's fantastic. They're coming at us, and we're starting to do some good damage. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, Princess. Where are you? Uh, that's Evo. Princess, um, I would like you, please. To, I can see a sword coming towards us too. Do a sunfire right in here, because that seems where they're coming from. 
Okay, great. Lovely. Okay, it didn't actually do what I wanted it to do, but that's totally fine. Uh, Bowler, are you actually going to fire at anyone anytime soon? No. Sale, you need to get uh, your rifle out, please. Oh, I see Gideon's come face to face with you here. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab... Per Where's your rifle? Okay, you've, you've dropped your rifle. That's a bit of a shame. Um, and Sugar, look at this for me, please. That'll be fantastic. Let's get you down there. Outlanders are fleeing. Uh, let's um, attack this guy. Because anyone that's still in melee range is going to continue to attack uh, until it is all taken care of. Uh, Giggles, go ahead and... Oh, we should have had some go juice. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Giggles taking a couple of hits there. That guy's down as well. Alrighty. We have some potential prisoners here. Um, extremely low expectations. No shit. Uh, wow. Oakley dokely. Okay. Let's have a little looky-loo at what we have here. We're just going to stay paused for a moment. Olaf, what are you? Uh, pyromanic, a pyromaniac rebel. Uh, that sounds like a recipe for pain and, and suffering. Um, Sleuth is still active over here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab our crew. We're going to start moving forward. Uh, and then I'm going to do a little cheeky bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And hello, claim. Uh, oh, I see. We can't claim it yet because we haven't killed any everyone. They are fleeing, however, but Sleuth is still a problem. So let's just move up and absolutely drill the shit out of them. The base has been destroyed. Okay, let's take out that turret. Great work, everyone. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go like this and go like this. And let's find ourselves um, some goodies. So Billy and Princess, you go there. And Gizzo, you go... No, and look at all these little doors in here. Okay. And Bear, you go and open that door. And Purr, you can open this door. And Lumpy... Uh, it's okay, we've missed a couple of people. You go there. Bowler to here... And then Sale, um, Sale, uh, come and check out that. And I don't think that one's a door. Or, uh, no, I don't have anyone actually selected. Who didn't I do? Was it Giggles? It's fine. Let's just go and then see who's still standing there. Okay, Per, come and check out this door for me. And then the rest of you, just hang there for a second. We're going to find a couple of beds, um, which we can use whilst... Okay, there's one. Um... There's a table, there's some packets of survival meals, there's a bunch of fermenting barrels. Um, nothing in there to be seen. Uh, what about in through... Uh, let's do another another claim there. And Gizzo, come and check in here. We want to find some beds, Gizzo. Um, because I'd like my people to be able to lie down for a bit. Unless... What am I hearing? Oh, I see. Per, step out of the doorway, mate. There's a turret there. Uh, okay, so these guys are just brewers, and they don't have any beds whatsoever, which is kind of amusing, um, and kind of disappointing. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to set, uh, this room down here can be kind of a prison. Uh, so what we're going to do is set this up, and we're going to go furniture, sleeping spot, uh, times two, there and there, and these two can be for prisoners. Great. And then up in here, we're going to go sleeping spot, and we're just going to rattle in a couple of sleeping spots around here so that our people can be tended to. It's not going to be a permanent, you know, make your, make your house and live in it sort of situation. But everyone can just, like, do their thing, with the exception of, hey, Lumpy, do you want to capture Olaf? Actually, no, Olaf was the pyromaniac, right? Bio, pyromaniac, asexual. Okay, you're going to die. Um, so it's you, Ninjak. Ooh, I like that. Ninjak. Or Ninja K. But Ninjak is also fine. Is anyone else still alive? No. Nah. No. Nah. And these guys have basically nothing that's... The hell was that noise? Ooh, wait a minute. Are you or something? You're a technophobe. There was a beepy noise. I don't know what the beepy noise was. Um, that doesn't matter, though. That doesn't matter. Um, okay, great. 
So let's go ahead and uh, let a little bit of firefighting happen here. Evo's going to go ahead and do some repairs, but who gives a shit about that? Um, they also have some incendiary shells there, which we could quite potentially steal, and some random mats, which are basically pointless at this stage, so let's not worry about it too much. Uh, Giggles, are you tending to some people? Let's just double check and see how people are going here. Um, yeah, Giggles, I need you to do some tending, please, mate. Uh, maybe not start with the prisoner, maybe start with our people, because 20 hours, ah, you're okay. Um, Evo's got, uh, days going on, um, and, and let's see, you're okay, you're okay. Uh, Gizzo, you've been patched up, you're okay. Wow, we came through that crazy well. Crazy well, with the exception of Bola, who took a shot straight to the, straight to the face and lost her nose, which is pretty gnarly. That's two people we've got missing noses now. Um, maybe we could... No, that's not possible. I was going to say, maybe we could amputate a prisoner's nose, but um, yeah, that's that's not a thing. We can harvest... La oh, hello. Uh, hmm. Do you want to harvest the lung and bring it back for Eric? A lung and a kidney? I mean, if we were going to do that, we should have rescued the other guy that was out there, huh? All right. doesn't matter. I reckon uh, that now that sugar's been patched up, I reckon we can just head on home. Uh, so let's go ahead and reform our caravan. Uh, there are still some enemies in this area. I don't believe you. Uh, is the turret classified as an enemy? I think it is. Princess, why don't you pop out and shoot that turret in the face? Fucking hell. It's all right. Okay. Um, that's all right. Princess can... Oh, okay. All right. Come on, everyone. Let's all, let's all pile out here and go and take care of these two. No, just like that. There we go. Let's take care of these turrets. There's another one up here somewhere, is there? Yeah, it's behind that tree. I couldn't see it. All right. Take him out. Lovely work. Lovely work. Okay, guys. Uh, the area is now safe. Uh, did anyone take another shot? No, it looks like we're okay. Evo, um, where are you, my friend? You're just wandering around being upset by the, the fact that there's a bunch of corpses about. Let's see if we can reform the caravan uh, and head home and accept. Uh, 0 0.7 days. Uh, is Evo on the list? Yes. And we are going to take Ninjak with us. Um, simple meals, simple meals, fine meals. Uh, we might as well steal all their shit, right? Um, hollow golem meat, no thank you. Um, I'm gonna take your herbal medicine, I guess, and the medicine that is there. Um, are there any items that I want to steal? Yes, I'm gonna take your components. I don't need them, but I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take your steel. I don't, I mean, I kind of do need it, so that's fine. And your uranium and your incendiary shells, fine. And your go juice and your yayo. I'm gonna steal all of this stuff. Um, and not their corpses, and none of the weapons, and none of all of this clothing, and none of the armor. There is some tainted full marine armor there, um, which, you know what? We may as well grab that. We may as well grab that. Um, what about a shield belt? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take a couple of shield belts. I'll control who gets them, like our, mm, our non-combatants. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's do that. Do you want to steal their mortar as well? We've got the mass for it. We may as well. Um, I'm going to leave everything else though. Okay, great. Welcome everyone. Let's go. Um, they're going to gather up and do their things and then they'll get moving. Uh, I mean, it is two o'clock in the morning, so it's not an ideal for that. Uh, not an ideal time to do that. I should have maybe left them there until morning, but that's totally fine. Lumpy's having a daze, um, which is not the greatest. It's going to slow the caravan down. Um, but they're only like 0 0.7 days away, so it, it should be okay. Ninja, Ninjak is no longer incapable of, um, uh, of walking. That's fine. All these corpses have been taken care of whilst we've been away. Fantastic. Uh, these batteries are all chock-a-block full. We could probably get away with plopping in a couple. Oh, that's, that's completely the wrong location for that. Um, let's plop in a bunch more of these and fill out this row. A timber wolf is hunting Truge. Um, that is quite unfortunate. Um, especially because Truge is um, completely incapable of defending herself, um, but she is indoors. So what we're going to do is let's just go ahead and get all of our people to stay indoors for a little while. Truge, pop in, mate. Pop in. Borg, come on in. 
Um, I mean, I could tackle it, but I could just straight up ignore it. You know, I mean, all we're doing at the moment out here is smelting some shit. There's plenty of work to be done inside the base. Um, like maybe harvesting some hay grass, um, which is not currently fully grown. It's totally fine. Uh, maybe probably tending to some ducks actually. Okay, so we can ignore that and the crew can deal with that when they return. And we'll just go ahead and all right, make some shells. That's totally fine. There's plenty of stuff that we can do. Uh, sugar is fully healed. Sale is probably almost there. And then when everyone gets back, I mean, Lumpy's still having a bit of a tantrum, but we're, we're dragging him along. We're dragging him along. And uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll get back all happy and, and everything will be fine. Should we zoom in here? We should. Hey, while we're here, there's something that we haven't done in a while. Kane, come and change your hairstyle. Let's let's go and do some let's go and do some tarting up of some people here. So, um, I like the little spiky bits. I feel like maybe um, having a bit more. Oh, that's that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Uh, great done. And would you also like to have some face paint? Uh, I think you should have. Oh, that's just absolutely spot on. Um, mm. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like... Oh, even better. Okay, great. Confirm those. Uh, Borg, you've still got your face paint from last time. Truge, I like your hair. I like your hair, Truge, but I think you should have a face paint. Um, I think you can be an eagle. Um, yeah, and then maybe... Um, maybe, I guess, raw? Ooh, okay, but that should be red. And that should be green or dark blue. Yep, done. Okay. Uh, Eric, would you like some new hairstyles? A cold snap? That's not great, uh, but that's totally fine. What we can do is just quickly toggle these back out. Uh, so we can bring a little bit of extra heat into the base. Uh, there is a thunderstorm going on, which is not the greatest. Uh, hey, Eric, come trade with uh, Komabe. Um, and do you know what? Power... Uh, lightning rod would be a great idea. Let's get one of those. E Yikes. Okie dokie. Um, maybe we need to change that restriction that we've got set up and let you guys go outside so that we can uh, do some firefighting. That might be a great idea. Are you doing... Nope. Beating fire out. Fantastic. Because uh, we did take a hit uh, just a moment ago to the power network, which is not the greatest. So yeah, a lightning rod should help to soak up the lightning that's on the map. Um, and the good news is when the lightning does hit it, it actually charges the batteries, which is pretty cool. Very cool, in fact. Okay, so let's see if we can beat these fires out uh, relatively quickly. There's no rain to help us out, sadly, and hopefully we can uh, fix up those little bits and bobs. And now that that's done, Eric, you can come and trade with uh, this person. Um, the cold snap isn't actually that cold. It's not that, um, not that terrifying at the moment. Kinetic shield... Fertile lands and transfer mana. Mm -hmm. Don't need to worry about that. You've got a bit of gold. Um, you've got some plasteel, but I'm kind of okay for plasteel at the moment. Um, okay, nothing I really want, but thank you for stopping by. The caravan has arrived uh, and they're falling in from the top of the map up here, which is fantastic. Um, oh, and hang on. Yeah, this is, this is a, a weird little thing here. So Eric, do you want to come and arrest this guy um he is classified as a prisoner um but when we arrive we just kind of let them go and everyone belts back to the base uh with the intention of you know going and and i guess you know when you've been on the road for a while you do uh oh okay ninjack has just been taken out by a mouse so let's go and capture ninjack um, which I find quite hilarious, um, I have to say. Um, but yes, that's now been taken care of and we can get back to what we're doing, which is basically bring this prisoner in, convert this prisoner to our way of thinking, put this prisoner in some marine armor and then go out and destroy another base. I think that's it. We've, we've found our purpose, friends. Our purpose is destruction. Destruction and murder. Um, inspired creativity on sugar, that's lovely. But right now, not super duper important. Uh, what we do need to worry about at the moment is let it go, set you to recruit. And that's that. Friends, I reckon that's a great place to leave it off. We've achieved our objective, finally. Um, and I think tomorrow 
we can investigate doing some more. Although we probably should worry about this, shouldn't we? Anyway, friends, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.